for finishing this. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't do it, man. I couldn't do it. I couldn't, I couldn't keep playing with, uh, with lowered crosshair. I get that it's like the whole Halo meme and everything, but it's, I, I, I couldn't do it. I think if I put my mic along my jawline, that's one of the best spots for it. Because then I don't I don't breathe directly on it. At least I don't think. Because my mouth... Yeah, because my mouth aims past it. Yeah, my mouth aims past it. Same thing with my nose, I think, but it's still close enough to my mouth that it just gets the sound. And so we're going to see how this does if I keep it like close to my chin along my jawline. Um, yeah, so we're playing with centered again, and we're just going to do this with keyboard and mouse. I messed with the dead zones a little with the controller. I got it to a point where the drift wasn't bad, but it was also pretty clean still, but... I'll just finish it on keyboard and mouse. Just easier that way. Um, so from what I've heard... Word... Word around the offices. You've got a fat con. Uh, um, word around the Master Chief Collection... Is that... Bungie will be fixing the broken view models. Uh, I gotta turn the volume down on the game a little bit more. Let's turn it down to 45. But yeah, word around word around the Master Chief Collection is that Bungie will be fixing the um the broken view models. Cause it, how it used to be is that um the reason they had the lowered crosshair and the lowered view model was to um it was for VRAM saving for the Xbox, the Xbox original. Um, and then they kind of just stuck with it. But I like centered because I prefer just to have a like a constant field of view around around me. Uh, also, I switched back to 100 FOV to make up for how high up the weapon model is. But with the benefit of modern gaming, you really don't need that. However, because by default the crosshair is attached to the weapon model, or the weapon model is attached to the crosshair. When you raise the crosshair to be centered, the weapon model comes with it. Um, the only game in the Master Chief Collection that I'm aware of that's designed around this issue is Combat Evolved, which is why uh, Combat Evolved was actually fine, like worked fine when I played it centered. Um, it's just the other games in the series that have this issue, but I hear they're working on it so that raising the crosshair will not raise the view model or there'll be an option for it or something but that'll be good because I need that because I don't like how much of my view gets cut off by the weapon model but I, I just I really 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 want to play centered for the consistency oh instant death we're starting early Uh, no. Um, this was the the choked up view models. Um, no, the choked up view models, if you played Halo 2 original on PC, well, the thing is on, on Xbox 360 and, yeah, on the Xbox original and Xbox 360, there weren't those view model issues because you only had the option of playing with the lowered crosshair. In the Master Chief Collection, yeah, it's more of a specific issue because they offer you the option of a raised crosshair, of centered. But 
if you play Halo 2 on PC, the original Halo 2, the what it, which is now currently Abandonware, you can get it for free, it had a similar issue where if you tried choking up the, um, the crosshair, the view model would come with it. Um, there were workarounds with that, which I'm hoping the... Um, the, 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 there were fixes and workarounds for that, which I'm hoping the MCC devs will take tabs from. Like 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 I've said, the word around is that they're working on fixing the issue. So they are aware that it is bothering PC players who want to play centered but have so much of their view cut off by the weapon models. So it's it's they're working on it. But in the meantime, the best fix is just to raise your FOV to make up for how much of your view the weapon cuts off. Anyways, I was really distracted. Oof, this is gonna be rough, I can already tell. These guys are super resilient to plasma weapons. Oh, hey. Yo, what the fuck? Why'd I die so fast? Shed our brother's blood, and for that they must die. Sell it. So much for a stealthy advance. Ah, over so soon? Now nah, we're gonna keep going with this. I like this. This is a fun setup. If I can get a carbine, though, that'd be great.
The music in this game is just on point, though. Halo 2's got probably some of the best music in the series. Nope, nope. Give me that back, and we're gonna do this. That brute just yeet himself off a cliff. Wrong way. Here is another. What There we go. This is the good stuff right here. The other issue, of course, comes from the fact that the muzzle flash is right in your fucking face if you... Since... This is like one of the biggest problems with the view model being attached to the crosshair, because if I could lower the view model, I would. Because it's right... Because the muzzle flash is right on the crosshair. Easy fix those just to scope in. There's workarounds for now, but I'm glad they're working on fixing this. And I don't mean to harp on it so much, because I know I've been talking about this for the whole time I've been streaming this game, but it really does... You know, you, you 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 notice these things when you're playing it for so long. I can't help that my true passion in life is graphic. Yeah, well, it's not necessarily that. It's just that I love this game so much and I want it to be the most fun it can possibly be when you, when I play it. And so when you have things getting in your way, like the view models getting, you know, covering so much of the screen or things like that, it, it, it becomes noticeable and it really does impact how you play. My boys are just going in. Look at them go.
Look at them. They're just going in. That was a good use of that sword, honestly. That got me through so much, so much, so much headache. Oh, the needlers were on the next floor up. Hold still, you goddamn Wookiee. You all right over there, bud? My little grunt threw a grenade at right as it was over. Good job, buddy. You're an inspiration. Uh, better off with this one. That fuel rod does not have enough ammo. Mm. Now it does. There we go. My guy charging in while I'm firing grenade lo grenades like everywhere. You just can't hold this man down. Human, a human shotgun. One of them had a human shotgun. I mean, I won't complain. I'll take it, for sure. Oh, they killed each other.
Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to cancel the brutes. Yeah, there he is. He's just hanging out with the shotgun. Alright, where was it? Give it to me. I need it. What, something I always found really funny about um, this game's like, hey, look at all that, look at all those shells. Something I always found really funny about uh, this game's um, uh, like suspension of disbelief is that these two different races, you know, the or these two different warring factions of alien races, the humans and the covenant races, can just u operate each other's weapons. Well, there's six different alien races, but they're all using the hierarchs technology. All the all the technology that's provided to them is from the hierarchs. So at least that makes sense. Well, See, it kind of makes sense because the elites, the elites have very similar ergonomics to humans. The only major difference is that, so the majority of the technology is made mostly for the elites or the brutes. The brutes are a bit big. I mean, obviously the elites are like a couple feet taller than humans too, but as far as actual ergonomics go, the only difference is that humans have five fingers and elites have three. But... I mean, so that kind of makes sense, but it's not necessarily the um, the skill arrangement so much to me as just the fact that they know how to operate it because they're such totally different technologies. Mm. Then again, I'm sure it's late enough in the war that at least any human or any elite, like upper rank worth their salt, will will have you know known that. It, it's, it's late enough in the war that all the technology has been reverse engineered. Um, and, and anybody worth their salt would know, like, oh, okay, this is what this does. Mm. So I can kind of believe it. I mean, oh, these jackals.
Ah, good old workhorse. Those jackals, man, that's what really gets you. It's not the brutes you gotta worry about, it's the jackals. God, this music is so good! That was tasty. It was probably one of the best tracks in the game. Yeah, I'm just more comfortable with centered crosshair. I messed around with it for a bit, but I'm just going to go centered and wait for them to fix the uh, view model issues. I can handle it. It hasn't been too overbearing. Too much. As soon as I pull out the beam rifle, I'm like, yeah, it's still taking up a quarter of my screen, but that'll get fixed. Oof. Listen to that, like, 220 hertz rate, uh, footstep. Or 220, 22,000 hertz rate, I mean. As opposed to 44,000, which is what the gold standard is these days, or even 96. So that, that crusty sound effect.
It's amazing just how much changes. Still fundamentally feels like the same game though. So it's most impressive. I still kind of like that click clack that the old beam rifle sound made. Like this sound. Yeah, the click clack from the from the crystal cycle. I mean, it's still there, but it's just not as crisp. And Yeah, I don't like that sound effect change so much. I like the old I like the old plasma pistol charge up sound better. Look at that water. That is some that is some nice looking water. Got it to hand it to him. Got it got it got to hand it to him. That's some pretty good water. This is going to get rough. Yeah, I'm gonna get sniped to death. Let's see if I can go back and pick up anything better. Still, when I when I go back and look at the older visual quality, I mean, even back then, the lighting was pretty good in this game. Oh, no! I know. I just realized the elites have four fingers, but they have double thumbs. They have two thumbs. So the ergonomics is actually a bit different then. <laughs> but they can also twist their thumb to use it as a standard finger, so I guess it still works if they picked up a human weapon. Perfect. <laughs> Why am I flipping it still? Yeah, this is going to be a rough one. Well, I got all my beam rifle ammo back now that I'm not blowing it on stupid shit, listening to sound effects. Turn your head the other way, bud. I got you. I got your number. One last shot. Nope, that was my last shot. The captain is down, so... Which of these things was supposed to explode? I forget. Whoa! That was a good stick. That was clean. And I got my carvine back. And I and I really I do have to say that despite any technical hip hiccups I ran into or any um, 
minor annoyances I had with like certain enemy placements or gameplay weirdness. The overall experience of this game has been great. Way better than I remember it. The story and narrative's good. Gameplay's still really fun, again, despite like certain sometimes there being some really like like cunty enemy placements. There's no stream sound, I think. I think me tabbing between the two um, styles canceled the stream noise out. Oh, thanks for taking away my crosshair, game. That was annoying. Of all the times to do that to me, really? part where I'm getting aimed at by like five see that's what I'm talking about is they take away your crosshair with the title card I got your number now Uh, he's just straight arming the shotgun. That's great. There are more of them than I was expecting. There are a lot more of them than I was expecting. This was a mistake. There's another one of those geometry weirdnesses that I was talking about earlier. Noticed it all the time in Halo 1. They did a better job of covering it up in this one. But if you look, it's, there's that one. And here's what it is here. So you can actually see the enemy before the geometry stops. Shotgun definitely helps with the berserking brute. Jesus Christ, calm down.
One of you boys up here had a shotgun. He had a shotgun. It's my shotgun now. Son of a bitch. Every time. interact with this terminal real quick. I'm starting to fear that you're not very smart. Mind your tongue, Oracle. Oh, I mean no offense. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about your species. How long have these prophets been anointing arbiters? Since the fall of Falchavami, the first disgraced arbiter. Roughly 400 years ago. Incredible. And in all this time, it never occurred to you how convenient it was that your prophets were able to find a powerful, capable leader among your people, who happened to suddenly commit a terrible blasphemy every time the power structure of your covenants was threatened. I do not understand. Hmm. You do little to dissuade my fears. Then teach me. Looking back at the record of the Arbiters you discussed, was it not surprising to anyone that those chosen to become Arbiter were more than simple warriors? How so? Each of them had significant political influence among your people. In some cases, that influence was already being used to question the decisions of your hierarchs. In fact, that very questioning often gave rise to the charges of heresy that so neatly removed the challenger from the hierarch's concern. And once they were branded Arbiter, they promptly and quite cheerfully ran to meet their deaths. All our lives we look down at the path, put our feet where the prophets tell us. All our lives spent convincing ourselves of the truth of our covenant. Could all of it truly have been wasted? Let's hope not all of it, for we have a great deal of work to do. The Flood is still out there, so I require a cooperative reclaimer to enact proper containment procedures. But your Covenant keep trying to kill all the reclaimers I can find. All this bickering is quite a deadly waste of time. Right now, the most important question we can ask is this. Who could break this hold the Prophets have over you? Interesting. Fucker. They just keep coming! Enough. 
these motherfuckers. Pop them both real quick. Wasn't that guy already dead? What are you doing? This game is acting real weird. <laughs> Please tell me it's a friendly pirating, pil piloting that wraith. Yo, why is their AI getting so jank? This is probably the best weapon to use against brutes, though, is their own brute shot. Just skip them right off the ground. Just skip them like rocks. Mind if I do? see no more no more rockets oh there is this bad boy I think I can take out that other wraith with this Whoa. damn it okay new plan We use fuel rod gun. Take out the conga line of brutes that come after me.
Actually, we could probably just use the brute shot to do that, but. Uh, let's see. Let's just see where this takes us. Oh lord, they're coming. Okay, now that they're gone, I'll just take out those wraiths at my leisure. What are you doing here, bud? Okay, rates down. Fuel rod gun is done. Pick up brute shot. Hmm. As much as I'd love to hold on to the shotgun, probably safer to go with the carbine. Just skip them like rocks. Oh, hey, how you doing? I got hit by my own guy. I am so sad. I can't believe that happened. The rings, Arbiter. The counselors, are they murdered by the brutes? Fire on disloyal beasts. The prophets were fools to trust them. Not so.
Your pal. Where's he going? Earth. To finish what I started. And this time, none of you will be left behind. That structure in the center of the city, it's a forerunner ship. And Truth is heading straight for it if he leads the Covenant fleet to Earth. They won't stand a chance. You have to stop him. That brute has the Index. And Miranda and Johnson. He can activate the ring. If he does, I'll detonate in Amberclad's reactor just like we did the Autumns. The blast will destroy this city and the ring. Not a very original plan, but we know it'll work. No, I don't want to chance a remote detonation. I need to stay here. Classic. Much more poppy, like a pistol, but this is supposed to be a magnum. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Good hang time. Flood control drop ships are touching down all over the city. That creature beneath the library, that grave mind. Where'd that shotgun get off to? I need it. I need it! Where'd it go? The hell, whatever.
fucking Christ! Just one thing after another. Okay, we're cooking with gas now. I'll disable this lift once you reach the top. That'll slow them down. I hope. Shall we let the flood consume our holy city? Turn high charity into another of their wretched eyes. No enemy has ever withstood our might. The flood too shall fail. I'll do what I can to lower the launch sequence. There's something inside the ship, a presence, fighting back. For a Covenant construct, it's unusually formidable. I have put myself in a bad situation. Everybody just turned towards me. Nice. Alright. Mistake. Won't be made again. Come on.
One of those flood had a shotgun that he dropped, but I couldn't find it. Fly off into hammer space, I guess? It's just gone? I guess so. Most disappointing. Well, another one will happen along. And the plasma sword suits well enough. Parasite did not defeat the Forerunners, and it shall not defeat us. Arrogant creature, your death is to be instantaneous, while we shall suffer the progress of infinitude. Okay. He had a rocket launcher. Thought I saw a shotgun somewhere, but once again I was mistaken. It's okay though, I got more battle rifle rounds.
I am playing with centered, right? Just making sure. Okay, yeah. I'm just getting readjusting to playing a video game like a normal human being again. The security systems in this part of the tower are particularly robust. Here we go. Finally, cooking with gas. Whosoever is gripped by fear, take heed. I am the prophet of truth, and I am not afraid. Noble mercy is here, at my side. His wise counsel ever in my ears. Ah! Oh, so something's up with the subtitles. Again, you can't see the subtitles. Music. I do legit like how the the spooky music though. I feel like I, I, honestly the aim assist would actually help me out a lot right now because it would center my shotgun shot so all the pellets hit. I had to sneeze. Come on, guys. Cut me some slack.
crisis will not be the end of us. It is but one last hurdle before the journey and salvation. back here. I want to turn the USB dongle for my controller on. I'm really missing that aim assist right about now. This will not be the end of us. It is but one last hurdle before the journey and the salvation. Let me just make sure I got my dead zone settings correct. Spent like half half my stream time in the settings. Yeah, that aim assist is just so good. This crisis will not be the end of us. It is but one last turn before the journey of salvation. This is rough. This will not be the end of us. It is but one last hurdle before the journey and salvation.
All right, everybody's dead now. I can move on, right? There we go. Brood and elite ships are engaging one another all around Hatteras. I'm running out of options, Chief. I can't stall the launch sequence much longer. The next lift will take you up to the conduit. Hurry! The history of the Arbiter is one of both legend and infamy. Their name has been corrupted by great shame. Though the contemporary is perhaps the most confounding of all. Thel Vadimi was born of noble blood, the legendary House of Vada. His family's renown demanded great expectations for his military career, and he would meet them all. One of the youngest to achieve the status of shipmaster, and one of the youngest to gain the rate of supreme commander. In our campaign against the humans, few have risen to renown as Vadami. World after human world, all laid low for the sake of the great journey. But then came Halo. Shame unto shame. He failed his greatest charge, and the sacred ring was desecrated. By such disgrace, Thel Vadimi became the Arbiter. As a mere scribe, I do not challenge the word of the Hierarchs, but I would be remiss not to voice concern. This Sangheili should have been put down, publicly slain as an example to all of our prayerful expediency. With the discovery of a second ring and the changing of the guard, all things are in jeopardy. Will this arbiter remain loyal? Or will he stand with his people as they are abolished by our newfound might? I would never openly challenge the divine proclamations of a hierarch, but this arbiter is a risk I would not have tolerated. And I now fear the days of the covenant Covenant was good at repurposing Forerunner technology, but this is amazing. They've been using the Forerunner ship's engines as an energy source for the city. The ship isn't so much launching as it is disengaging, uncoupling itself from High Charity's power grid. Stopping truth, that's all that matters. Now is the time of our unworlding. We shall Stop truth. I've got to handle the index. Go. If you would falter, know this. One final effort is all that remains. Forget about the. to Earth. Good luck. After I'm through with truth. Now make a girl a promise. If you know you can't keep it. Just T-posed right on in. I realized I was still muted.
Anyways, yeah, I was I I put the controller back away. What is that place? Where the counselors were meant to watch the consecration of the icon. The start of the great journey. There is still time to stop the key from turning. I must get inside. Then mount up, Arbiter. I know a way to break those doors. Alright, one sec. I'm gonna pop the BRB on. I need to use the bathroom. And what the hell, I'll turn the controller back on. Why not? Okay, one more thing. Uh, uh, uh. There we go, okay. Oh my god, is my stick drift getting worse? For real? Is it getting worse right now, on stream? Currently? Yeah, and I need to see this. Okay, hang on. I have it at 12%, right? Oh my god. The drift got worse. This controller is now unusable. I mean, I could let's 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 try turning it up to 15, but I'm pretty sure this drift is now so bad this controller is basically like trash. Yeah. 
Is it maybe a connection issue with the USB dongle? Maybe. I, I don't... This is weird. And I don't like it. Turn the controller off. Disable the dongle. Re enable the dongle. Yeah, honestly, though, <coughs> it might just be a mechanical issue. We'll see. We'll see. I knew it. I knew I was going to have another scuffed stream. Just can't just have a stream go right for once, can I? Always something. All right, I'm going to try a different USB port to see if maybe it's just a wireless issue. The most scuffed Halo 2 stream in history. Oh my god. Come on. Whatever, controller's still blinking, still looking for something that's not there, so... We're just gonna... do this for now. No, the drift is still there. Okay, um... So, we're gonna restart the game. And see what happens. I know, I'm, I'm... I'm stopping at the climax, but now it's like, it's become a... It's become a big thing for me. Like, I've gotta, I've gotta know. I've gotta find out.
that drift issue issue is persistent. Okay. Which means this controller is dead. It's bad. It's gone. Done with it. That is most unfortunate. So I'll just put my Xbox dongle and thing away and I'm going to have to buy a new controller at some point. Most disappointing. I was expecting better. Maybe it was my fault because I do tend to live in very dusty environments. Maybe I wasn't storing it properly, like debris get in there. I don't know. Regardless, I find myself disappointed. But no tolerance for stick drift. Can't stand that shit, and I hate that they always cheap out, and this shit always happens. You think they would have figured out ways to mitigate that at this point? I haven't had this thing for that long. I got it. On, I got it at Christmas time. And what's even more disappointing is my see-through PS4 controller has uh, lasted significantly longer at this point, and I remember a couple of years ago I was complaining about PS4 controllers. It's just like console controllers in general are just so inconsistent. Oh, a lot of grenades.
our aid, Arbiter. They will fight by our side. Hell yes. Men only want one thing and it's disgusting. Look at our boys go. Look at them go. They go sicko mode, they do a lot of damage. Stop throwing stickies at my lads.
Oof. God damn those fucking brute shots. Oh, that one fucking jackal! God, you sneaky motherfucker! Okay, I gotta change strategy when all the guys with the brute shots come in. All right, how do I let my boys out of jail? That's how I do it. This 
terminal here. The only one I would trust with this information is probably dead right now. He was commander of the fleet that brought me to the system. Felvadami was his name. But after hearing you tell of the destruction of the ring, I cannot believe that he still lives. His orders were to secure the ring, to prepare it for the arrival of the Hierarchs. Vadami never fails in his duties. If the ring is no more, then Vadami must be dead. Duty can indeed be a dangerous virtue. But even if he did live, wouldn't this sense of duty make him quite unlikely to set aside his allegiance <coughs> to the Prophets? Perhaps not. And he would never betray our people. No, oh, if I... If we... Were able to just speak to him, explain everything you have told me. But no, these are futile hopes. If he did live, and if he was returned to the High Prophets, they would most certainly punish him for the destruction of the Ring. In fact, he would be the exact kind of leader the Hierarchs would make Arbiter. They would need someone to blame for the loss of the Ring. His influence within the fleet grew with every one of his victories over the humans. And if he did become Arbiter? Then he would be lost to our cause. Without the knowledge you've shared with me, he would obey the Prophets without question. I doubt he would even respond to his former name. I don't know what it would take to overcome, but as you say, we don't have time to ask such questions, and Vadimi is almost certainly dead. If all your hopes rest on him, then I fear for the future of this galaxy. As do I, Oracle. As do I. But I will begin our fight. Make others aware of the lies the Prophets whisper in our ears. And soon, we will find more who will take up our cause. Ironic, isn't it? I mean, that is pretty ironic. Here he is, still alive in the flesh. Like you. But if we don't do something, Mr. Mohawk's gonna activate this ring, and we're all gonna die. Tartarus has locked himself inside the control room. Well, I just happen to have a key. Come on, grab a banshee and give me some cover. Gonna know what's coming. God, Johnson, you Chad.
Oof. Yikes. Aim on those wraiths, good lord. Fucking hell. This is rough. I can already tell I'm going to get very, very, very frustrated with this segment. I'm just going to stay behind Johnson. Interesting, they added more features to the lake.
Of course, ironically, as soon as I get out of a Banshee, I get killed by another f fucking Banshee. Can I just do the Warthog run again, please? So, yeah, I, I never liked Banshees, by the way. They were one of those vehicles in Halo that I always fucking hated. I mean, for fuck's sake, this thing hits like a wet noodle against shields. And all these guys are using shielded turrets.
Well, it weren't pretty, but I got past it. Whoa, 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 okay. Two berserkers. This reclaimer is delicate. One more word, Oracle, and I'll rip your eye from its socket. Mm. Which is nothing compared to what I'll do to you. Carteris, stop. Mm. Impossible. Put down the icon. Put it down, and disobey the Hierarchs? There are things about Halo even the Hierarchs do not understand. <laughs> Take care, Arbiter. What you say is heresy. Is it? Oracle, what is Halo's purpose? Collective no! of the Seven. Not another word. Please. Don't shake the light bulb. If you want to keep your brain inside your head, I tell those boys to chill. Go ahead. Do your thing. The sacred rings, what are they? Weapons of last resort, built by the Forerunners to eliminate potential flood hosts, thereby rendering the Parasite harmless. And those who made the rings? What happened to the Forerunners? After exhausting every other strategic option, my creators activated the rings. They and all additional sentient life in three radii of the Galactic Center died as planned. Would you like to see the relevant data? Tartarus, the Prophets have betrayed us. No, Arbiter! The great journey has begun, and the brutes, not the elite, shall be the prophet's escort.
Damn it! Alright, we're gonna turn the dialogue volume back up since the subtitles are gone. Did I already empty the magazines on those two? Oh, you motherfucker. Bro! 
too close. Double needlers would fix this really quickly. Needlers, needlers. Any needlers around here? I need to wait until Johnson takes his shields out. We're going to get crazy with this. We're going to get risky. Ooh, was that a shotgun? Whoa, that's my guy. Where'd that shotgun get off to, huh? Alright, Johnson is here. Damn it! Got it.
What's that? A beacon. What's it doing? Communicating at superluminal speeds with the frequency Communicating of... with what? The other installations. Show me. Failsafe protocol. In the event of unexpected shutdown, the entire system will move to standby status. All remaining platforms are now ready for remote activation. Remote activation? From here? Don't be ridiculous. Listen, Tinkerbell, don't make me... Then where? Where would someone go to activate the other rings? Why the Ark? Of course. And where, Oracle, is that? We've got a new contact. Unknown classification. It isn't one of ours. Take it out. This is Spartan 117. Anyone hear me? Over. Isolate that signal. Master Chief, you mind telling me what you're doing on that ship? Sir. Finishing this fight. Are the credits broken? They're just letting the music stinger roll out. I think it was just letting the music stinger play. Anyways, that was Halo 2. Uh, gonna wait for Halo 3 to come out. Uh, sorry these streams were played with so many technical issues. It was a bit of a frustration, but, you know, shit happens. Um, I'm very glad to have played it, though. It was a very, very good game. And I'm very eager for when Halo 3 drops on PC, whenever that may be. Um... And again, I'm very, I'm also very eager for them to add better visual options and stuff for like the view models, because that that was just a major pain having to choose between elevated or lowered. Um, yeah, good game. Also unfortunate that my 360 controller was not, or my one controller was not working, but mm, hardware, you know, system hardware. But, yeah, that's Halo 2. Thanks, everybody, for showing up. And uh, it's been fun. See ya.